Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Um, I've been messing around with CWC, or I'm sorry, Citrix Workspace Cloud quite a bit lately. And today I'm going to be showing you a little bit about this uh, new thing called Citrix uh, <clears throat> Lifecycle Management. I, you might hear me call it CLM in the video. Uh, marketing hates it when I do that, but it's faster to say it that way. So, um, as you log into this thing, lifecycle.cloud.com, uh, what you're going to see is uh, this quick little three-step process on how you go about deploying these things called blueprints. And in this video, I'm going to walk you right through these steps. Now, this step's a really short step, and this one's a, these two are a bit more in-depth. Um, but we're going to walk through the whole thing in, in this video. So let's start with step one, add a resource location. <clears throat> what you're going to see is I've already done it. I have this resource location called my money and another resource location I call Steve's money. That's because uh, Steve is the GM of the uh, um, <clears throat> of our converged infrastructure division, which includes our lifecycle management. And that's literally his money I'm spending when I'm delivering there or deploying to there. So I'm going to deploy there because it's better than using my money. Um, but the how I created these resources locations is I just clicked add resource location. I chose of the various things that I want to deploy on. I chose Amazon Web Services for this. And after that, I just set up my name, my ID. This is basically a username and password from uh, AWS style. Um, I'm not gonna paste those in here on the screen because I've already had those stood up. But um, if you don't know about those things, you're probably gonna need to talk to someone in your organization that has access to AWS and whose money you're spending <laughs> and get a, get a key from one of them. But you just type it in, hit next, and this is what comes up is your resource location. So I have two right now. We're gonna be spending Steve's money for this video. So that, that's step one. Uh, step two is to add the blueprint. So let's go over to the blueprint catalog and let's see what these blueprints are. You can see right now there's, there's a handful of blueprints in here, uh, ranging from some R stuff like Zen Mobile or Zen App. You can deploy Zen App with SQL or without SQL. We're going to be focusing on this proof of concept today. But there's a lot of stuff in here, and this is only going to get bigger. In fact, if you're an ISV out there and you want something on this, please give me a call. I'm happy to hook you up so we can get you uh, hooked up and, and set up a blueprint uh, on this service. So here you can see Atlantis is here, Login VSI, AppSense. We've, this is an open uh, system for anyone, any ISV out there to come in and set up a blueprint. So what I'm going to focus on today is only one blueprint, the Zen App Proof of Concept. This blueprint blueprint uh, actually adds a bunch of stuff into building a complete POC of Zen and desktop. I'm not going to be adding anything else, so I'm not going to hit any other pluses today. We're just going to keep this pretty simple. So we're going to jump over to my library and take a look at this blueprint. Now this takes a few minutes. You can see right here, it says this may take up to five minutes depending on the blueprint. This blueprint uh, has got some complexity to it, so it does take a couple minutes. And so we're just going to fast forward. So there it only took about two minutes to do. Um, but now you can see our blueprint. And if I chose multiple blueprints, they'd show up over here. But uh, to keep this video simple and short, we're just gonna focus on the one. Now you can read the description of what this thing is gonna do. I can tell you that it's gonna add a domain controller, it's gonna give me a Zen desktop delivery controller, it's gonna set up storefront, license server, all the things including SQL Express for my database. It's gonna do all of this for me. So we're just gonna move in. If you wanna see like what's happening in the deployment phase, you can click here, see all the stuff, you can manage all this. There's a lot of stuff going on here that I'm not getting into in this video because I'm focusing on deployment. I want you to see what it takes to stand up these stand up a deployment. So this is what is going on. What's going to happen with this blueprint? Again, it gives me a description, but we're just going to click on start deployment setup. Uh, we're going to give the deployment a name. Uh, we're going to call it my um, CLM video test and hit next. And you can see this nice little step-by-step uh, -step chart of what we're going through. Now, I've done this a couple of times, so I've gotten pretty familiar with the setup here. Um, but I'm not going to configure a Netscaler, so I'm going to leave this no. And if you don't know what it's asking, you can just hover over this question mark here, and it's going to tell you, give you more information. Um, I'm not going to do a KMS server, and this basically is saying, do you want to do uh, VDI or RDS? Uh, we're going to do RDS, so this is a Zen app setup. And then which resource location? We're going to spend Steve's money. Thanks, Steve. And we're going to hit next. 
So then it gives you a, a kind of a review. Hey, this is what the blueprint is going to do on Amazon. I'm going to use this type of base image. This is how much I'm going to use. This is the type of medium workload. Now this has, if you're familiar with Amazon, this is a money thing. So medium workload is not the cheapest one that's out there. And then these large ones get more expensive. So it's just how the blueprint decided to do it. Uh, and we're not going to debate that with the blueprint. We're just going to accept it. And then here on the scale portion, it says, how many of these do you want? And so we're just going to stick with one because uh, this is just a quick little demo. Uh, I, but I could scale that out if I wanted to. Next, and then we've got these VM tiers. And so again, I got to choose where I want that resource location to be uh, used. And the idea here is um, we can actually enable it so you can use different resource locations for different parts of the blueprint, which is uh, a handy feature um, as you do this thing at scale uh, and want to move between different clouds. Uh, remember, that's one of the major advantages of our um, product. Um, so anyway, so now it's saying, hey, this is the uh, image I want to use. This is, comes right off Amazon. In fact, all this stuff is straight from Amazon. I'm not going to mess with any, any of the defaults here. I'm going to leave that the same. I've already set up a key pair. Uh, if you see this screen for the first time, it'll say set up key pair. It's really uh simple to do. You basically hit next. Um, and then the one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose an IP address. Um, that's the only thing different. I don't necessarily have to, but I'm going to do that and leave everything else default. I'm really trying to make this a next, next, next finish type operation. Now I'm going to repeat that two more times for each one of these uh, different VMs that's being created. So I'm going to fast forward through this process. <laughs> With that complete, I click next. And now it's just going to ask me a, a few configuration details. So I'm going to give it a domain name of aws.local. I'm going to give it a, a password. And I'm not going to change any other values. Again, this is just to get this thing up and running um, to make sure that uh, the demo works. It says, hey, let's save this name. So I'm just going to call it video. Um, that's so if I want to repeat this in the future, I don't have to go through any of these steps. I can just say, Hey, grab the video profile and do that again, uh, which could have major advantages. Um, and then I'm going to click deploy. Now at this point in time, I'm pretty much done. It is just a wait for this thing to bake in the oven, um, which I'll fast forward to the end, uh, of, the, of this process. But right now it's actually talking to AWS and deploying it. So while this is deploying, I can actually click and watch what's happening step by step. And this is going to take a while because now you can actually see what the blueprint is going to do. And there's quite a few steps involved. But keep in mind, I didn't really, I didn't do anything except what you just watched me do. So we're going to let this run and I'll be fast forwarding it throughout. So what you're seeing is me fast forwarding this thing 30,000 times faster than it happened in real life. The deployment took about two hours to complete and you can see I'm, I'm boiling it down to about 30 seconds here, but it's going step by step by step. There it installs end desktop. It's rebooting the server. It's doing the server VDA. Now it's rebooting it. I mean, we're just flying through stuff that takes hours upon hours to complete typically, but thankfully through the magic of editing, we can just fast forward to the end. And at the end we get this beautiful, deployment report. So we'll click on that and we can go step by step by step to see exactly what happened within this. We can see that the Netscaler didn't deploy because earlier on in the video, I said, no, don't, don't mess with Netscaler. And so from a deployment perspective, we're done. And now we can actually use CLM for all these other features. We can look at alerts, monitoring here on monitoring. I'm going to click on the domain controller and you can see that it got done provisioning an hour and a half ago. And after that was done, it just, the CPU basically stopped and it's been sleeping ever since. So there's so much more to lifecycle management that I'm not going to get into in this video, but I hope this at least gave you a, a taste of all of this, uh, of, of this service and what it can do. So once again, I, I want to thank you for watching and I hope you stay tuned to future videos we do on lifecycle management. Have a great day.